once I suggest writing gate examination to any engineering students, mostly the reply I will be getting will be one of these myths which they are having in their mind. They will say it's very tough only for teaching, only for toppers. We have to complete the whole syllabus for gate preparation. These are based on the assumptions and prejudice you have about gate examination in your mind. Listen to this video very carefully until the end. In the end of this video, you decide whether what I am saying in this video makes sense or not. Hi bro, I am Ebenezer. I did my MTech from NIT Calicut after clearing my gate in 2009. I am a career analyst now and I help people to discover and live their full potential. This is a set of four videos, so please watch all parts of this video. I am putting the link for all the four videos in the description below. Myth number one, gate is only for teaching. If you can get more than 65 out of 100 marks, you have a high chance of getting into public sector undertakings and there you will be getting a payment of around rupees 10 lakh to rupees 16 lakh per annum. I have clearly explained about this in the video which talks about opportunities. You can click the link in the description. Then, take my own example. I completed my MTech from NIT Calicut as I already told and after completion, I went on to work in a private company which I could get in only because I had my industrial engineering and management done by such a prestigious institute like NIT Calicut. There are also a lot of placement opportunities for MTech students in NITs and IITs even if you do a master's degree there. So, the notion that gate is only for teaching is complete myth, especially if you are from a tier 2 and tier 3 engineering college where the placement options are less. After completing PG in NITs, IITs or IASA, you will have abundance opportunity to get into corporate sector. Myth number 2, it is very tough is taking 30 to 35 marks out of 100 in any exam tough if you sincerely put your effort and prepare for any examination you will be able to easily cross this mark right and if you just cross this cutoff itself you will have ample opportunities of getting at least an mtech seat in any of the nits come on bro around 18 percentage of students who appear for gate examination clear every year which means one out of five students are clearing this examination. In India, there are many other competitive examinations like state public service commission examinations or union public service commission examination where the percentage of people who clear the exam is only 0.25 percentage. Wherein here it is 18 percentage that itself shows that if you put some effort, you will be able to clear this exam. Then here you are going to have subjects only from your engineering syllabus, right? If you start your preparation parallelly when you are doing your engineering studies and practice gate questions along the way, won't you be able to clear this exam in flying colors? Let's see the breakup of mark in gate. Take a screenshot of this as I explained. For engineering students, the split of mark is like this. 15 marks are there for general aptitude which contains verbal English and aptitude questions. Then 13 marks is for your engineering mathematics. Just combining general aptitude and engineering mathematics itself you get around 28 marks which is very closer to cutoff mark in most of your streams. Now coming to your subject questions, there are 72 marks asked from your subject. In a few minutes in this video, I will explain you how this 72 marks is split across various subjects in your engineering stream and using that you will be able to clear the exam easily. Hence, there is a clear and smart strategy to approach this examination, prepare for it, revise and clear this examination. In another video, I will post this strategy which can be used as a thumb rule for your own preparation. So, I request you to take a moment and subscribe this channel if you haven't done yet. Next, see these two questions from general aptitude section which is there for 15 marks. Tell me in the comment box answer for these two questions and also tell me if these two questions are tough or easy. These two questions are good mind twisters, right? In the same way, you will be having more mind twister questions in your engineering stream as well. Also, if you categorize the questions, you will have three categories, easy, moderate and difficult. Generally, difficult and very difficult questions are very less and most people seeing those questions get afraid of the whole examination. If you just focus on easy and moderate questions itself, you will be able to get a reasonably high mark in this examination and you will be able to clear it.
Myth number three, it is only for toppers. Is it only for toppers? Is taking 30 to 35 marks out of 100 difficult for you? In any exam, if you put to your mind, you will be able to get that marks, right? If you want more example, I am sitting in front of you. I was just an average student when I was doing my mechanical engineering. Only in my final year, I came to know about gate examination and I came to know that they pay you 5,000 rupees per month as stipend if you are doing your M.Tech. That motivated me and I started my preparation. I prepared only for the last six months after the application process started. I went for a coaching class which was on weekends, only on Saturdays and Sundays. On my weekdays, I gave only three to four hours every day consistently in the morning to revise what they taught in the weekend. You can do it very well using the online courses which are available today. But even with the little knowledge I had during those six months of preparation, I went, wrote the exam. I made sure that I don't have much negative marks in it and I could clear the examination. I would say without any exaggeration that in my four years of engineering, I understood engineering thoroughly only in that last six months. My studies in NET Calicate completely transformed my life. I actually became very confident after that and during my work as a business process consultant, I have stood and made presentations before many CEOs of big companies. Myth number four, you need to cover the full syllabus. If you see the previous year questions which are available in the GATE website, you will understand that certain subjects are given higher weightage than other subjects. I am going to give you an example from my own stream, Mechanical Engineering. You can also search the internet and find out how mark is allocated for various subjects for your stream as well. Just see the screen. You already know that 72 marks are asked from your own engineering subject. If you see in mechanical engineering paper, manufacturing is given a weightage of 15 marks. Heat transfer is given a weightage of 10 marks. Industrial engineering is given a weightage of 8 marks. Engineering mechanics is given a weightage of 8 marks. So if you just give focus for the first four subjects itself, you will be able to get around 41 marks. Right. Add to it 15 marks from general aptitude and 13 marks from engineering mathematics. You will have another 28 marks, which comes to 69 marks. You can focus on these high weightage subjects and using that itself, you will be able to get very high marks. I will explain a very simple strategy for gate preparation in another video. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Now like this video and share this video to other people so that it reach many people. By helping your friends also to prepare for this examination, you will have a group of people who can even discuss among yourselves, share the portions and prepare. Do participate in the comment section with your views and suggestions. Thank you so much for listening. We'll meet in the next video.